Hey guys, just wanted to update you on the uh, Ruger takedown model I'm, I'm uh, currently getting ready to shoot. I decided to install the uh, Ruger factory scope base onto the rifle. This is after I took it out and figured out I couldn't hit anything with the open sights. Uh, I then uh, scrounged another scope off a of 22 I had already. This one's a Rifleman, Leopold Rifleman 2 to 7 by 33 Great little scope and just about right for 22 and I also used uh, Leopold PWR permanently mounted rings. So, uh, you know, a, a quick detached ring might be a better fit for a takedown rifle, but I had these rings on hand, so we'll go with it. So, only hitch, and I knew this going into it, only hitch is that this piece, the base, gets a little bit long. So, we're looking at 22, 22 and a half inches from the toe of the, the heel of the buttstock to the front of the scope. And that is just a little bit too long for the Ruger bag. This bag is a nice bag. This is the Ruger bag that we come with that it comes with. Nice bag, but if you want to fit the rifle with this scope on it, you're gonna have to not use the flap here. The flap won't fit around. You can tuck the flap in and really wedge it in there and the zipper closes pretty easy at that point but on one end you got your the butt of your stock here pushing up against one side and on the other side of the bag you've got that uh, front bell on your objective for your scope. And I, you know, I don't really want to carry this around and then one day find out I have a big ding in my scope. So so I went online and I found another bag that will work. This is a UTG discrete carry bag. It's 25 inches wide, uh, 15 inches or so tall. It's got one main compartment here. Inside the main compartment are these loops and you've got six straps. And these straps pull out and there's a little Velcro right in here. You can put it so you can set these straps in and they won't, they won't slide out. And you can move them back and forth to get whatever setup you want. So I have this set up here to, to hold the, the barrel and forearm on the bottom. It gets a little hard grabbing the uh, forearm with these straps because they're pretty long. I need to scoot that forward a little bit. And then up top you can put the uh, top of the rifle, or the receiver, with the scope. Now everything's held nice and securely. So this all zips up nicely. And then you have a, have a handle that you can strap. There's a shoulder strap, strap here sewed to the sides so you can carry it flat. And then there's another large compartment in the front. And here you have uh, plenty of loops. You can put your uh, magazines in here or ammo, mag loaders, uh, plenty of room for like a little 22 pistol. And you could put a bunch of ammo in here too. Now the, the bag is actually made for like taking your AR-15 upper off the lower and so if your if your upper on your AR is uh, you know 25 inches or less that's from the muzzle to the back of the upper receiver that'll fit in here and a lower will fit in also so I'll be uh, I'll be taking the takedown rifle to the range shortly and doing some accuracy tests and uh, I'll report back then so anyway Thank you for watching and uh, have a good night.